Greetings. Welcome to Parkview Church of Christ midweek service. If you're a member here at Parkview or you're just visiting with us online, we want to take a moment to thank you for worshiping with us tonight. This week we celebrate a holiday called Thanksgiving. And while this year has definitely been full of ups and downs and twists and turns, there are still things that we can be thankful for. We can be thankful for God, the Father, who in his sovereign power is still in control. We can be thankful for his son, Jesus Christ, who came to this planet and walked among men and, and took our sins on the cross. And we can be thankful for each other. Whether or not we see one another on a regular basis because of the circumstances right now or not, we can still be thankful for each other. Tonight's service is going to look a little different than our typical midweek service has looked. Over the last several weeks, Brother Stoker has been bringing an excellent Bible study. We appreciate him for that. However, tonight we're not going to have a Bible study. We're not going to have a Bible class, or even a sermon. Tonight, we're going to spend time together online singing praises to God. We're going to spend time being led in prayers. And we're going to spend time reading God's precious word together. So please, go ahead and get your Bibles out. Go ahead and prepare your minds and prepare your hearts for 30 minutes of worship. Let us go to God at this time in prayer. Heavenly Father, we know there's a lot of things going on in the world around us that are uncertain, that might be overwhelming or nerve-wracking or might even cause anxiety or stress or worry. But God, despite those circumstances, despite all those setbacks, we know that you are still in control. Father, tonight, as we lift our voices and praise to you from our own individual homes, as we open up our Bibles and, and read your words, as we speak to you in prayer, God, God, help us cast our burdens and our anxieties onto you because we know you care for us. So that way we can focus our attentions on those things in which you have richly blessed us with. God, be with the men who will be directing our thoughts in prayer and in scripture and in song tonight. 
Lord, be with everybody who is participating at home. Lord, I ask for your continued protection and provision for everyone under the sound of my voice. God, help us to cultivate gratitude. Help us to look for things to be thankful for every day of our lives. Father, there are so many things that we take for granted. Lord, open our eyes and open our hearts to see those as what they really are, blessings. God, we thank you for the greatest blessing of all, your son, Jesus Christ. God, and it is in his precious holy name that we pray. Amen. Psalms 100. This is a song of praise for the Lord's faithfulness to his people. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures for generations. Will you bow with me, please? Our Father and our God in heaven, hallowed be your name this day, and forevermore. Father, we are so thankful to you for your love, for your care for us. We're so thankful, Father, for your faithfulness to us. Even though we are a people who oftentimes don't express our gratitude and thankfulness to you, we're so thankful for your faithfulness, for your mercy, and for your grace that you show to us every moment of every day. Father, we know that we are your people. We know that we are the sheep and you are the great shepherd. And Father, we understand your care. We understand that you have given us your word to feed upon, that we might learn how to better serve you that we may learn how to better express our gratitude for the many things that you provide us with. Father, we live in a country of much. We live at a time when we are blessed with so many material things. So many things oftentimes, Father, we take for granted. We consider to be ordinary 
that we consider to be necessary, Father, but yet they are luxuries. And Father, for all of these things, we give you praise and glory. And Father, we want to express our thankfulness to you because even in our times of distress and trouble, you are there. You walk with us. You take us by the hand. You direct our steps. And you help us, Father, in all the ways in which we need you. Father, you've provided us with everything that we need for life and godliness. And for these things, Father, we cannot express to you our gratitude enough. May we live our lives in dedication to you for the goodness that you've expressed to us. Father, we pray for your continued blessings. Knowing, Father, that oftentimes we fail you that we do things we should not do and say things that we should not say and even hold things in our heart that should not be there. But Father, we know that you're merciful and that you're long-suffering and we ask that through your mercy that you forgive us. Help us to serve you better, to love you more, and to be more of what you want us to be. And this is our prayer in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. To God be the glory, great things He hath done. So loved He the world that He gave us His Son. Who yielded His life and atonement for sin. And open the life gates that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give Him the glory, great things He hath done. Great things he hath taught us, great things he hath done, and great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings all mine with ten thousand beings. Great is 
thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. I'll be reading this morning from the book of Romans, chapter 8, beginning with verse 31. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, our most gracious Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And Father, we come to you with thanksgiving in our heart for all that you do for us. We're so thankful especially for your son, Jesus Christ, who came to this earth, who walked among men, who died and was buried and was resurrected so that we may have eternal life. And Father, as we walk throughout this community and this world, we pray that we'll walk in such a manner that others will see Christ living in us. And Father, be with us throughout this day and the days ahead. Protect us and keep us safe and forgive us of our sins, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus gave his life a ransom yonder on Calvary, on Mount Calvary, cruel Calvary, paved the way by blood that we might win a bright shining crown. Praise his holy name, and salvation has been brought down, no glory. Praise, Praise the Lord, the Lord. the Lord, salvation has been brought down. Heaven, go, go and show and show and shout and tell it the world around. Go preach it and tell it today. To people in sorrow, tell, tell it today. today. Tell it tomorrow. Preach the word of God that we might win a shining crown. Heaven, tell the lost, all the lost, salvation is full and free. To Spread the news, the blessed news all over the land and sea. Go preach it and tell it afar in every nation. Tell it afar for creation. Praise, Praise the Lord, the blessed Lord. Lord. Salvation has been brought down. There's a blessed home prepared way over in glory land. In bright glory land, blessed glory land. 
I have trusted in his love and now I am heaven bound. Praise his holy name. Salvation has been brought down. No oh, glory. Praise, Praise the Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Salvation has been brought down. Heaven, go and shout and shout and shout and tell it the world around. Go preach it and tell it today. To people in sorrow, tell, tell it today. Tell it tomorrow. Preach the word of God that we might win a shining crown. Heaven, tell all the Lord. Salvation is full and free to sinners. Spread the news, a blessed news all over the land and sea. Go preach it and tell it afar in every nation. Tell it afar over creation. Praise the Lord, the blessed Lord. Salvation has been brought down. Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. He gave his life, what more could he give? Oh, how he loves you. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves you and me. We'll be reading from uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 4. We'll read from verse 9 through 12. If you would, would you read along with me? Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either one of fall down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lay down together, they will keep warm. How can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves according of three standards in their quick, quickly broken. Would you pray with me? Dear Holy Father, we are so grateful and so thankful for your blessing that you have blessed us to have one another and you blessed us to be a family. And Father, you are our Father, because we love one another, we care for one another, and we support one another. We ask you to continue to guide us, Father, that we do these things, that we, it will bring joy to our heart to know that we love one another and that you love us like you have told us to love, love one another. Guide us and be with us and keep us, Father. And we thank you for this particular day that we come together to be with you and give you praises because we know we couldn't be together without you. In the name of Christ Jesus, we're on the pray. Amen. Angry words, oh, let them never from the tongue unbridled slip. May the heart's best impulse ever check the air they soul the lips. Love one another, the second Savior, children obey the Father's best command. Love one another, the second Savior, children obey the best command. Love is much too pure and holy, friendship is too sacred far. For a moment's reckless folly, thus to desolate and mar. Love one another, the and Savior, children obey the Father's blessed command. Love one another, the and Savior, children obey the blessed command. Come we 
that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord, join in a song with sweet accord. And thus around the throne, and thus around the throne, we're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Then let our songs abound and every tear be dry. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground, we're marching through Emmanuel's ground. To fair worlds on high, to fair worlds on high. Worlds worlds on high. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Our Father God, who art in heaven, we are thankful, not only at this season of thanksgiving, but we are thankful every day because we realize that our lives are in your hands and you have been gracious to us and for your grace and your mercy, we give thanks. As always, our greatest thanks is for Jesus who loved us, who you gave to die for us. And we pray, God, that you would always Help us to be thankful for that blessing and to share that good news of his death, burial, and resurrection with anybody who will listen. Be with each family in this season, especially be with us as many families are not able to meet. But regardless of the circumstance, God, we do say thank you. And that's our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. Salvation belongs to our God who sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb be praise and glory, wisdom and thanks. Here below. 